Well, KPRC2 is embedded within HISD's Fleming Middle School this year. We're focused on documenting the effects of a new teaching method on students, teachers, and parents in that community so that you could see the impact for yourself. Yeah, so there's a new program introducing students to classes they might not otherwise experience. And the classes are taught by professionals in the community. This morning, Candace Burns shows us what the kids are learning. Seeds are being planted at Fleming. This is a Fleming Middle School Diet Gardening program, and we're basically teaching horticulture. Necesitan más agua. Le vamos a echar agua para que todo con el tiempo se vaya poniendo más bonito. The school is located in Houston's Fifth Ward, an area the USDA calls a food desert, meaning it's difficult to find affordable or good quality fruits and vegetables in the neighborhood. We hope the kids will, will go home and, and share this information with their parents, that their parents might get into the gardening with them. They could grow a garden salad in a container even if they live in an apartment. The lessons being cultivated here could develop minds that produce solutions to the community's current challenges. We could make more fresh fruits and vegetables available to people that live in a food desert. What are dyads? This is new to our community. There are special programs uh, that the NES schools um, have welcomed into uh, HISD, and it provides the students the opportunities to experience some classes that they wouldn't normally experience in regular schools. For example, keyboarding, piano, um, spin class, dance class, um, gardening. So there was nothing like this at Fleming before? No, no, not at all. What were the normal, like, extracurricular activities that kids had before this? Uh, P.E. Mm -hmm. and P.E. No band? Oh, they have band. P.E. and band, and I believe last year they had art as well. So a lot. So now we have a whole from. lot. Who are the instructors? How do you find them? So they're actually uh, community members. Um, the diet program locates um, people who have an interest in certain areas. For example, if you're a chef and you want to come teach cooking, um, then they pay you to come be a consultant, a diet consultant, and do cooking. Uno, dos. Most of the people live in this community that come because they want to give back to the community. Just gently please. Now I'm here to instruct, uh, teach piano, uh, I also teach uh, songwriting as well as music production. Now, just, and, and there you go. Now that hand is relaxed. I'm a, a singer, a songwriter, producer. I sing throughout a lot of venues here in Houston. Exactly. Play another G. I had to look for an opportunity to play somewhere to find a piano. And I taught myself. But here, the kids have an opportunity to just come to school, come to class, and learn to play. And who knows what doors that might open. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I think it's important that they realize that there are other things that they could do uh, once they become an adult. So I think the diet program uh, is a really good program to help the scholars. We hope that this will stay with them for life. Candace Burns, KPRC2 News.